Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. All right. So uh, we have Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising weekly general tarot reading on our side. And just hold on a second here, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are going to move right into it. One that fell down. Right, so the first card for Virgo that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. And can you see the card? Yes, you can. All right, so we do have the Eight of Pentacles, first one, uh, followed by the Six of Swords as the second. Uh, moving next, we do have the Knights of a Pentacles. Okay followed by the uh, eight of a cups, uh, seven of cups, I'm sorry. So it's, it's seven of cups. And uh, the last one we have for you here, that is to be the knight of cups at the end, okay? So, um, well, Virgo, the, uh, the week is gonna start in a very good fashion here with uh, the eight of pentacles. Um, if you will, you can take at the start of the week as a, a clear sign that whatever preparations you made in the previous week and or in the previous times that are leading you up to this point are, um, how can I say, are true. They, they simply are, are what you were supposed to do back then. And for that reason, uh, at the start of this week, guys, now, whatever plans you had, they can pretty much start taking place. They can pretty much be, in, be executed. They, they can uh, become a manifestable at that point. And you may ask yourself why, right? Well, that is because according to the Eight of Pentacles at that point, uh, every single detail of your preparations and as well of your plan, if you will, is going to be attended to. So it's pretty much is going to be clear to you what you got to do, how to do it, you know, and in generally all the preparations are to be taken on under consideration. And as well, um, you are to approach all of the endeavors in there with a, a great portion of conscientiousness. So to me, this uh, pretty much speaks to either the initiation of a very important project that you may have at work or a, a pretty big endeavor that it resides in term of your relationship. Or if you are completely single, then this card pretty much speaks about a, a lot of interaction in term of, uh, in term of dating for you're going to feel ready to step into the world and, and show to the universe, if you will, that you are ready to start receiving love once more and uh, after that Virgo we do have the six of swords and that card uh, marks the time from the start up until the middle of the week here and six of swords pretty much points that you when you start initiating your plan you know or the endeavor whatever it is there uh, you are going to find yourself a little bit scared and that is because the pace that is going to take in it will be a bit faster than, uh, than you have anticipated and not to mention that you may thought you are prepared emotionally that is here we are talking about emotional acceptance of the facts around you may think you are prepared to face emotionally say the uh, important conversation the really tough conversation with your boss or with your wife but when the time comes your heart is still going to start beating up in fear what may happen if things go wrong 
But with the Six of Swords here, uh, that card marks certain thresholds that you're gonna set into uh, or sit in front of. Thresholds that are regarding actions, that are regarding as well words that you have to express into the world as well. And the more you think about it, the more your mindset will understand at that point that a couple of things that in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of. Why? That's the second thing, because you have a goal, right, that you have prepared here with the Eight of Pentacles. You finally can start initiating that goal. Therefore, any action is better than no action at all. Or in other words, you're going to realize that just your thought or wishful thinking about where you want to be and what you want to accomplish, it's not enough to get you there, not nearly enough, and you have to start from somewhere. And that way you're going to overcome your fear and you are to improve significantly your circumstances. And then when you do so, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles points to a person that either steps in, that could be someone you know, or it could be someone that uh, is just stepping in, is, is just appearing. So if it is a, a romantic interest, you are very lucky to have that guy aside from the Knight of Cups because uh, that could speak for a love triangle, but we're going to get there in a minute. So we do have somebody stepping up for you. And uh, these people with the Knights of Pentacles, they very well know what they want, why they are wanting it. Because Knights of Cups also knows what they want, but they don't know why. And they don't know how to get it. Here, this one very well knows how to get it, very well knows why they want something. In this case, either, well, in this case, you, all right, that, that's the case here. Either they want to work with you, they want to be with you, or they want to uh, kind of like cooperate with you, whatever it is. So they want you in, in certain regard, all right? And uh, Knights, of, uh, Knights of Pentacles, they have a pretty clear vision and plan and also strategy how to move forward. Good thing about them, guys, is that they are very simple in action. So uh, they are never going to surprise you pleasantly or unpleasantly as well. I mean, you're going to see it miles away coming in, uh, whatever actions they are anticipating. And that, that predictability is going to be a thing that uh, will allow you to build up trust into this, uh, into this person. Uh, of course, that could be an ex of yours, because if we're talking about romantic interests here, Knights of Pentacles usually... Um, symbolizes jumping old branches of love. So um, the, the, we can have here the subject of you making, mending up relationships with your, um, with your exes, uh, but that may not be the case as well. Okay, that could be someone brand new, but as it is a general reading, I cannot, I have to generalize it, all right? Your personal reading could speak different, but I have to generalize it and cover as much as I can for any possible outcome or any possible situation that may arise. In any case here, Knights of Pentacles, brilliant, brilliant luck it is that you do have. A very reliable person is coming in, either for a making business with or making love with. And right after that, we do have the Seven of Cups. And um, this card is very tricky in that particular follow-up here. Uh, and especially if we're talking about love triangle in regards to the person that you are going to meet at the end of the week as well. That also could be somebody you know or somebody that it is going to be brand new, right? Knights of Cups. And I have to pretty much um, read the three of them. So we do have one stepping in um, at the mid of the week and then... Uh, from the mid to the end of the week, you do have your own expectations of all of it, you know. And Seven of Cups here is going to be regard to your disappointment that while the expectations of, say, your new relationship or newly meant relationship or new business that you are about to establish can be accomplished, they cannot be accomplished as, as fast as you want or in a fashion that you do want. And then exactly the Knights of Cups is stepping in at the end of the week, promising everything you want, okay? They are promising you that, that they will do whatever you are imagining and, and it's gonna be your way and so on and so forth. That's great. I mean, they, these are a genuine people, all right? They, they, they truly mean what they say. Problem is they don't know how to do it. So uh, here we do have all of a personal pre 
preference that you have to incorporate in your life or you have to take under consideration. I cannot tell you which one you should go, which you should go with. Personally, if I were Virgo and these two uh, court cards are describing women, I would go for the one that um, I can trust and uh, pretty much I find reliable. Some people seek more emotional content. Some people want to feel, you know, their feet to swipe under uh, under them and they have butterflies in the stomach and they, there is constant drama out there. Then they're going to go with the Knights of Cups, all right? But here, the Seven of Cups points to certain disappointment that you're going to have with the unfoldment of the Knights of Cups. And that disappointment is not going to be because you don't have any unfoldment, but because it's not the unfoldment you are expecting. And then this other person comes in and the, at the end of the week that promises you, they, they are not offering, they are promises you that your unfoldment, unfoldment that you are expecting can become true in the time frame that you, are, that you want. And they're promising you that problem is they don't know how they are going to keep that promise. So entirely up to you to decide which one you're going to side with. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And we shall see each other next time. Until then. Bye.